and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's contenders will answer questions on one of the great Hollywood stars of her time, the novels that told us how middle-class England coped with the war, the Irish aristocrats who fled from English rule, and a music genre of the 90s. Four subjects, four contenders, but only two minutes for each of them, and then 30 seconds longer for their general knowledge round. And the winner has to do it all over again in the semi-finals. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Karim Lalani. Your occupation? Unemployed. And your chosen subject? Vivian Lee. Vivian Lee, the British actress who won the first of two Oscars for her role in Gone with the Wind. Starting now, in 1935, Vivian Lee became an overnight sensation when she starred on the London stage as a prostitute masquerading as an innocent girl. What was the play called? Mask of Virtue. Yes, Lee was presented with her first Best Actress Oscar in February 1940 for her performance of which character in Gone with the Wind? Scarlett O'Hara. Yes, in which 34 film did Lee make her screen debut? She plays a schoolgirl and only has one line. If you are not appointed headmistress today, I shan't come back next year. Things are looking up. Yes. What was the name of the barrister who became her first husband? They married at St James's Church, Spanish Place, in London in December 1932. Lee Holman. Yep. In 1943, Lee was part of a review that toured North Africa entertaining the Allied troops. What was it called? Ensa. Spring Party. Which Hollywood producer unsuccessfully applied for a legal injunction in 1945 to prevent Lee from appearing in the play The Skin of Our Teeth because she was still under contract with him? David O. Selznick. Yep. In 1944, she had an accident on the set of a film and subsequently had a miscarriage. Which film? Season Cleopatra. Yes. Lee won the Best Actress Oscar for a second time in 1952 for her portrayal of a tragic character in A Streetcar Named Desire. Which character? Blanche de Bois. Yep. Who directed her in the title role of the 1948 film adaptation of Tolstoy's novel Anna Karenina? Alexander Corder. Julien de Vivier. Which future film star was a school friend of Lee? The two would later have roles in the film A Yank at Oxford. Maureen O'Sullivan. Yes. Who replaced Lee in the 1954 film Elephant Walk after she had a nervous breakdown during filming? Elizabeth Taylor. Yes. In July 1957, Lee was ejected from the House of Lords when she interrupted proceedings with a protest about the demolition of a London theatre. Which theatre? St James's Theatre. Yes. Lee played a street entertainer and sneak thief in one of her films, which was released in America under the title Sidewalks of London. What was the British title? St Martin's Lane. Yes. She was awarded a Tony in 1963 for her performance as Grand Duchess Tatiana Petrovna in which musical? Tavarich. Yes, you have no passes, Karim. You've scored 12 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Elizabeth Bowden. Your occupation? Executive assistant. And your chosen subject? The Caslet Chronicles of Elizabeth Jane Howard. The stories that follow the fortunes of a wealthy family as war is about to begin. Two minutes starting now. The patriarch of the family, William Caslet, has an ironic nickname as a teasing recompense for being too old to fight in the First World War. What is it? The Brig. Yep. What position did Fred Wren occupy in the Caslet household at the beginning of the Chronicles? He was the groom. He was. When Pipette O'Neill brings a note from Rupert Clary, describes it as the second piece of love sent. Who sent it the first? Rupert. Her mother, Isabel. What's the name of the institution that cares for unwanted children up to the age of five, where Rachel Cazalet is the honorary secretary? The Baby's Hotel. Correct. The German maid Inga is sacked when Hugh arrives home unexpectedly and finds her doing what? Dressing in his wife's clothes. Yes. What illness prevents many of the children in the family from returning to boarding school after the summer holiday of 1938? Measles? Chickenpox. The elderly great aunts Dolly and Flo are secretly given the nicknames Bully and Cracks by the children because the old ladies resemble a bloodhound and which household object? Pass. What did Rupert's French lover Michelle put in her mouth to repel the Nazi officers who came to question her at her farmhouse? Garlic. Yes. Rupert's daughter Clary describes phrases like we'll see, it depends, and all in good time as MARs in her journal. What do those initials stand for? 
To which French leader does Clary write an appeal for help after her father goes missing in France during the Second World War? Charles de Gaulle. Yes. What is the Christian name of the governess, Miss Milliman? She frequently admonishes herself with it because she believes there's nobody left who knows it. Eleanor. Yes. The American army officer, Jack Greenfeld, gave baby Juliet a present. When Rupert returns to home place after four years, Zoe is wearing it. What is it? A necklace. A turquoise heart necklace, yes. Which member of the family gets a job as a junior continuity announcer at the BBC in 1941? Angela. Yes. It doesn't matter what you do as long as it doesn't frighten the horses. That's a Cazalette family expression. What exactly does Edward say it means? Pass. At the end of the Chronicles, Rachel has decided to go and stay with her niece Polly. What happens to her brother Hugh that makes her change her plans? He has a heart attack. He does indeed have a heart attack. You had three passes, Elizabeth. Um, Edward said that phrase, doesn't much you do as long as it doesn't frighten the horses. What it actually means is, shut up. Rupert's daughter, Clary, described phrases like we'll all see, it depends, etc., as middle-aged remarks, <laughs> M-A-Rs. And one of the old ladies resembles a bloodhound, apparently. The other one resembles nutcrackers. Elizabeth, you have ten points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Benjamin Meredith. Your occupation? Uh, Self-employed. And your chosen subject? Uh, 1990s hip-hop. Music of the 1990s. Two minutes, starting out. Who collaborated with Proof in the group D12 in the early 90s before he released his debut album entitled Infinite? Uh, pass. In 1999, which famous hip-hop label released Blackout, the first full-length album collaboration between the East Coast rappers Redman and Method Man? Um, uh, Def Jam? Yes. Coolio's 1995 chart-topping single, Gangster's Paradise, was a reworking of a 1976 track, Pastime Paradise, by which artist? Uh, George Clinton. Stevie Wonder. Which 92 album by Dr Dre pioneered the G-Funk style of hip-hop that was heavily influenced by 70s funk? The Chronic? Yep. Which member of a tribe called Quest left the group shortly after the release of their debut album, People's Instinctive Travels and the Paths of Rhythm, in 1990? Uh, Ali Shaheed Mohammed? No, Jarrow B. White. Shug Knight's Death Row label formed a groundbreaking alliance in the early 90s with a record company headed by Jimmy Iovine. What company? Uh, um, uh, uh, pass. What was the title of the debut single by Junior Mafia, which was released in 1995? Uh, pass. The albums Iron Man, Tickle, Liquid Swords and Return to the 36 Chambers were solo projects by members of which Staten Island collective? The Wu-Tang Clan? Yes. What is the real name of Crazy Bone, the Cleveland rapper who formed Bone Thugs and Harmony with Wishbone, Lazy Bone, Flesh and Bone and Busy Bone? Uh, pass. Which track from Snoop Dogg's 93 album Doggy Style inspired a 94 short film directed by Dr Dre and Fab Five Freddy? The soundtrack featured a collaboration between Dre and Ice Cube. Uh, pass. Who produced Missy Elliott's 1997 debut album Super Duper Fly? Uh, Notorious B.I.G. Timberland. Charlie Brown, Dinko D, Buster Rhymes and Cut Monitor Milo were the members of a quartet that released A Future Without a Past in 1991. What was the quartet's name? Uh, pass. Well, I can tell you because we're out of time now. Leaders of the New School. And uh, your other pass is the track from Snoop Dogg's 93 album, A Murder Was the Case. Anthony Henderson was the real name of Crazy Bone, the Cleveland rapper. Player's Anthem was the title of the debut single by Junior Mafia. Interscope was the record company headed by Jimmy Iovine. And it was Eminem who collaborated with Proof in the group D12. Benjamin, you have three points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Anne Stewart. Your occupation? Retired. And your chosen subject? The Flight of the Earls. In two minutes, the Irish Catholics who escaped to the continent in 1607. Two minutes starting now. Which king summoned the Earl of Tyrone to present himself in London in July 1607? The Earl feared that he would either be executed or imprisoned. 
James the first. Yes. Please. From what village on the shores of Loch Swilly did the Earls of Tyrone and Tyrconnell, with their families and followers, set sail for La Coruña in Spain on the 14th of September 1607? Rathmullen. Yep. The Earl's ship landed 21 days after its departure from Ireland at what port near Le Havre? Kilberth. Yes. Who was the commander-in-chief of the Spanish army in Flanders who entertained the Earl's party in his Brussels palace in November 1607? Marques de... Spinola. Yes, the Marquess de Spinola. According to the chronicler and eyewitness Tago Keenan, a governor of Milan had been kindly and friendly to them at their coming and was sad when they left. What was the governor's name? Um, pass. In which French city did the Earl's party visit a gorgeous church where a head, said to be that of John the Baptist, was displayed? Rouen. Amiens. When the party finally arrived in Rome on the 29th of April, 1608, they were met by Peter Lombard, who was the Archbishop of which diocese? Pass. What nickname for the Earl of Tyrone's treasurer, John O'Hagan, came from the Irish name for the pound sterling? Could you repeat that, please? What nickname for the Earl of Tyrone's treasurer, John O'Hagan, came from the Irish name for the pound sterling? Panto. Yes, Opunti. The party lost some of their money when one of the Earl of Tyrone's horses fell down a cliff on St. Patrick's Day, 1608, near a bridge in the Swiss Alps. Which bridge? The Devil's Bridge. Yes. What was the Christian name of the Earl of Tyrone's son, who at the time of the flight was Colonel of the Irish Regiment in Flanders? Henry. Yes. At what palace in Rome did Pope Paul V first receive the Earl's party on the 4th of May, 1608? La Quirinal? Yes, or Monte Cavallo. The Earl of Tyr Connell's wife was visiting her family in Maynooth at the time of the flight and was not able to join him. What was her Christian name? Siobhan. No, it was Bridget. Oh. Yeah. You had uh, two passes. Peter Lombard was the Archbishop of Armagh. And according to the chronicler, Teg O'Canan, the governor of Milan, was the Count Conte de Fuentes. Those two passes, Anne, you have eight points. <laughs> but now it's time to invite all our contenders back into the studio together. It is the general knowledge round now, of course. Two and a half minutes of questions, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes will be the winner, and if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. And remember, the contenders do not know what each other has scored. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. And, as always, we start with the contender with the lower score, and that is Benjamin. And you're having a bit of an off day, I suspect, Benjamin. <laughs> anyway, you've got three points. However, you've got two and a half minutes of general knowledge now to race ahead. Here we, here we go. <laughs> Which seaside resort seasonal illuminations have been switched on by many celebrities, including by George Forby in 1953 and Peter Kay in 2014? Blackpool. Yep. What French phrase that means reason of being is used in English to denote the justification for the existence of something? Uh, raison d'être. Yep. Which Russian composer's symphonic fairy tale, Peter and the Wolf, was first performed in 1936? Um, Tchaikovsky. Prokofiev. What plant whose name has come into English from the Portuguese word iname is widely grown in the tropics for its edible tubers? Um, uh, pass. What is the first country that lies due east from the Orkney and Shetland Islands? Um, uh, Norway. Yeah. Which fictional teenage diarist was created by Sue Townsend? Uh, Adrian Mole. Yep. What is the name of the businesswoman who won a landmark court case in 2016 against the government over its authority to implement Brexit without approval from Parliament? Uh, pass. The first volume of which brother's most famous work, Kinder und Hausmärchen, or Children's and Household Tales, was published in 1812? The Brothers Grimm? Yes. Which Welsh boxer, who was world super middleweight champion, retired undefeated in 2009 after 46 wins? Uh, pass. What metal is present in a chemical compound described as cupric or cuprous? Um, copper? Yes. Which British overseas territory off the coast of Argentina is served by Mount Pleasant Airport, opened in 1985? Uh, the Falkland Islands? Yep. Which English king, who died in January 1066, was canonised in 1161? 
Uh, Edward the Confessor. Yes. Rodgers and Hammerstein's musical Flower Drum Song is set in the Chinatown of which American city? Uh, San Francisco? Yep. In what 2017 animated fantasy film does Miguel enter the land of the dead to find his great-great-grandfather, who was a legendary musician? Uh, Coco? Yes. Blackface and Southdown are breeds of what farm animal? Um... Blackface and Southdown... Uh, pig? Sheep. Which Belgian artist initially worked as a designer for a wallpaper factory? He became a leading figure in the Surrealist movement. Um... Uh... Brack. Magritte. Who does Christopher Timothy play in the television series All Creatures Great and Small? His autobiographical stories form the basis of the series. Uh, James Herriot? Yes. What is the name of the many-headed monster that Hercules had to kill for his second labour? As soon as he cut off one of its heads, two grew in its place. The Hydra. Yeah, the Hydra is exactly right. You had three passes. Joel Calsaghi was that Welsh boxer who didn't do too badly. Gina Miller was the businesswoman who won that landmark court case. And Yam is the plant yeah. whose name comes from the Portuguese world in Amé. However, you've got a perfectly respectable score now of 50. <laughs> and next into the chair is Anne with eight points. And you have two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. Who wrote the Communist Manifesto in collaboration with Friedrich Engels? Karl Marx. Yeah. Who spent 16 weeks at number one in the UK singles charts in 1991? Everything I do, I do it for you from the film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Pass. Which wildlife welfare charity began as the Plumage League when it was founded by Emily Williamson in Manchester in 1889? Wildlife Fund? Royal Society of Protection of Birds. What is the name of the place on the Mount of Olives where Christ and his disciples went to pray on the night before his crucifixion? Pass. Who composed the waltz, usually known in English as the Beautiful Blue Danube, in 1867? Strauss. Yes, Johann Strauss. What bridge, in the words of the White Knight's song in Through the Looking Glass, was to be kept from rust by boiling it in wine? Pass. What is the name of the monk and occasional detective created by Ellis Peters, who lived at Shrewsbury Abbey during the reign of King Stephen? Pass. Which British field marshal's only major defeat in the Second World War was at Arnhem, when he tried to gain a bridgehead over the Rhine in September 1944? Montgomery? Yep. The Norfolk town of Cromer is particularly well known for what shellfish? Crab. Yes. Medellin, once notorious for its connections with drug trafficking, but now a tourist destination, is a South American country's second city. Which country? Colombia. Yes. Which veteran American singer also paints and signs his works? Benedetto. Tony Bennett. Yeah. Which 1956 film musical stars Gordon McRae as the fairground barker Billy Bigelow? Pass. Who presented the television programme One Man and His Dog for 17 years before Robin Page took over in 1994? John Lukes. Phil Drabble. In which country is the Valderrama Golf Club that in 1997 became the first European course outside the British Isles to stage the Ryder Cup? Spain. Yep. What Latin phrase was used by the Venetians to denote the land they controlled on the Italian mainland? Pass. Which Ghanaian diplomat served as Secretary General of the United Nations from 1997 to 2006? Pass. Reflecting and refracting are the two main types of what optical device that collects light to form an image of a distant object? A telescope. Yes. What general term is used in America for a fully grown pig, especially one weighing more than 120 pounds? Hog. Yes. Which road tunnel under the Thames was the longest in the world under a river when it was opened by the Prince of Wales in... 1897. Blackwall. Is correct. You had seven passes. And Kofi Annan was the United Nations Secretary General. Terra Firma is uh, the land they controlled. Carousel was the musical with Billy Bigelow. Brother Cadvale lived, or Cadvile, lived in um, Shrewsbury Abbey. The Menai Bridge was to be kept from rust by boiling it in wine, bizarrely. Jesus went to pray with his disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane, and Brian Adams spent 16 weeks at number one. You have now, an 18 points. <laughs> and next in the chair, Elizabeth. And... Uh, you start out, Elizabeth, with ten points. 
Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Two and a half minutes of it starting now. What tall wading bird gets its distinctive pink colouring from the pigments in the organisms it eats? Flamingo. Yes, in 1988, Michael Edwards, better known as Eddie the Eagle, became the first person to represent Great Britain in what event at the Winter Olympics? Ski jump. Yep. Which goddess, the queen of the gods in Roman religion, is identified with the Greek Hera? Athena? Juno. In 2009, the American professor Eleanor Ostrom became the first woman to win what Nobel Prize? Peace. Economics. What unofficial title is given to the sitting MP with the longest continuous service in the House of Commons? Father of that? Yes. An autanique is a type of citrus that's a cross between an orange and what other fruit? Tangerine? Yes. Which country is separated from the far southeast of Russia and the Korean peninsula by the sea that bears its name? Korea. Japan. Which hill near Dorking in Surrey is named after the trees that grow there? It's the venue of a celebrated outing in Jane Austen's Emma. Box Hill. Yes. What common name that comes from their long, very slender bodies is given to the order of insects called Phasmidia? Individual specimens can be as long as 30 centimetres. Pass. What word that means to pamper is a term for a hand-reared or pet lamb? Pass. In 2011, who topped the UK singles charts for the third time with On the Floor, featuring the Cuban-American rapper Pitbull? Pass. What herbaceous plant was often reproduced by the ancient Greeks as a stylized motif at the top of Corinthian columns? Ivy. Acanthus. Of what country was P.W. Botta the last Prime Minister from 1979 to 84 and the first to hold the title of State President from 84 to 89? South Africa. Yes. Who left modelling to begin her film career as Polly Brown in Ken Russell's 1971 film The Boyfriend? Twiggy. Yes. What is the name of the composer of Armenian heritage, born in Tbilisi in 1903, whose music for the ballet Gayane includes the celebrated sabre dance? Um, Cachaturian. Yes. What animal is the disagreeable Mr Todd in Beatrice Potter's The Tale of Mr Todd? Boss. Which writer, best known for his children's stories, was born in Llandaff in South Wales in 1916, the son of prosperous Norwegian parents? Boss. I can tell you because you're out of time, it was Roald Dahl. Your other passes, that uh, disagreeable Mr Todd was a fox. Jennifer Lopez was the uh, singer who topped the UK singles charts for the third time with On the Floor. If you pamper a pet lamb, it's called cosseting. And that insect, very long slender bodies, is the stick insect. So, Elizabeth, those five passes, you have a total of 18 points. <laughs> And finally into the chair, Karim. And uh, you start out with 12 points, as you have just heard. The score is 18 to beat. That's, that's the one you have to beat, 18 points. Here we go, two and a half minutes of general knowledge. What name that comes from its shape is given to the area of the Atlantic Ocean where there have been numerous unexplained disappearances of ships and aircraft? Bermuda Triangle. Yes. What poisonous snakes, most of which expand the ribs behind their neck to form a hood, have a name that means snake in Portuguese? Anaconda. Cobras. Who wrote the 2017 novel Munich, which deals with the events surrounding the historic meeting between Neville Chamberlain and Adolf Hitler in September 1938? Robert Harris. Yes. What is the name of the ukulele player and singer portrayed by Marilyn Monroe in Some Like It Hot? Sugar. Yes. Sugar Cane Kowalczyk. Which opera is performed with Cavalleria Rusticana in a double bill known as Cav and Pag? Pass. What does Keats say is a joy forever in the first line of his poem Endominium? True love. A thing of beauty. What branch of physics is concerned with the production of very low temperatures and the behaviour of materials at those temperatures? Pass. Which knight in Arthurian legend was the purest and noblest of the round table and was the son of Sir Lancelot? Pass. What series of weekly radio programmes began on the 24th of March 1946 with the words, I want to tell you what it's like to come back to the United States after a sobering month or more in Britain? 
Letter from America. Yes. Which city has been the capital of China since 1421, except for a brief period between 1928 and 1949? Beijing. Yes. Jelly made from what soft fruit is one of the principal ingredients of a Cumberland sauce? Pass. Which singer, born Mary O'Brien, had success in the 1960s with the songs You Don't Have to Say You Love Me and Son of a Preacher Man? Pass. What letter is represented by three dots in the international Morse code? Yes. Yes. Which American president was the target of the Bertha movement who claimed he was not eligible to hold office because they believed he was not born in the United States? Barack Obama? Yep. What was the nationality of Gustav Klimt, the founder of that country's Art Nouveau movement? Austrian? Yes. The international airport near the resort of Ocho Rios in Jamaica is named after an English author who had a home nearby. What's it called? Ian Fleming. Yes. Which football club overtook Liverpool's record of 18 top flight league titles in May 2011? Manchester United. Is correct. You had five passes. Dusty Springfield was, you don't have to say you love me. Red currants, one of the principal ingredients of Cumberland sauce. Sir Galahad was the really good knight. Cryogenics is that branch of physics. And Cavern Pag is Cavalleria Rusticon and E. Pagliacci. You have, therefore, Karim, 22 points, and that means you have won. <laughs> So, let's have a look at all of those scores now that we have a winner in fourth place with 15 points, Benjamin. Joint second place, 18 points apiece, Anne and Elizabeth. First place, 22 points, Karim, and he goes through to the semi-finals. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>